good, rainy, windy morning. We're so delighted here with Daily Vlogs. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back because today's Friday, and that means tomorrow's Saturday, and the next day's Sunday, and that means extra fun for the Brook Hearts. It is 7 a.m. Been a bit since you saw me do this, but walking back to Orange Theory. Really good class. I've kind of been neglecting my health for the past couple weeks, pretty much since we were traveling, so we are turning that around. Um, yeah, I've got Orange Theory every day this weekend because I have like, the credits to take because I haven't been coming to class. So I think I'm doing third, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. A big weekend for Orange Theory. Maybe get a run in there somewhere if the, if the weather's supposed to be nice. The lakefront should be beautiful. But I have to get back, shower, and start my work day. Taking a half day, just the morning today. How many times did I just say today? Like five? It's obnoxious. I need coffee again. Yeah. Friday, Friday. Here go. Where are you going? Are you going to go hide in the corner? And look out the window? Good morning. I have just parked at my midwife's office and I'm going in for my 38 week checkup. It should be, it should be pretty straightforward. Thanks to me, pushing on you. Beautiful. He's a cool, cool kid. He's a cool, cool kid. Hey. Hey. Put your sunglasses back on. You're like a blue blues brother. Hey. He's a cool, cool kid. High five. Yay. <laughs> I am home and I have instructions to get labor going. Um, the appointment went well. They measured my stomach and I am measuring much smaller than I was last week, which means that Teddy is dropping, which is great news. He is kind of in a funky position. Like you actually might be able to see. It's like very much so on this side of me. If he... If he does any more movements over there, I'll try to show you. But he's also face up. They want him to be face down. We got Encanto on. Just gonna mute it for a second. Oh. My hair's kind of crazy. It's very rainy today in Chicago. Um, but yeah, I have some instructions to do spinning baby exercises just to get him in a better position. And my midwife said not to like to worry about it and usually once labor starts, they'll get in the right position. But like right now he just needs to be like, his head is down, his head is in, like she even like felt his head and like moved it into a better place during my appointment. But he just needs to like flip, not flip like Jamesy had to flip, but like flip around um or like rotate needs to just <laughs> just needs to rotate um so i have some stretches i'm going to do there james james he's playing the piano eve is protecting our home they did offer to check my cervix and to do a membrane sweep today but I just feel like I'm still like a little early on like I'm okay waiting until next week to do that but I am gonna start doing all the things to just get my body ready oh I'm going to eat dates I just did a target pickup for that I've been drinking the red the red raspberry leaf tea um, they also suggested evening primrose oil, so I ordered that on my Target order. I also included an exercise ball, so that, and walking, and then some of these different stretches that they suggested. 
We're gonna be adamant about doing every single night. Anything we can do to get me ready for labor, to go into labor on my own, um, and to hopefully make make it the best opportunity for me to progress and all of that. We're gonna start. I'm making some potatoes in our air fryer. I saw this girl use like just a little bit different of spices and spunkiness on her potatoes um, on a reel on Instagram. So I thought I'd try them out. She also made a dipping sauce that looks super yummy. So it's mayo, mustard, honey, lemon juice, parsley, garlic, and a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna mix this up and see how it is. I did use vegan mayo. And you know I'm all about the dipping sauces. So hopefully that looks good. Again, that was from the same reel. And I'll still just do ketchup and I think, I think, I think we're gonna have this too. With Peter being off of work soon, um, I think we're also gonna have this spicy pozole verde soup, plant-based from Trader Joe's. It's a pretty simple lunch, but honestly more than what I typically do for lunchtime, um, actually cooking something up. So it'll be a nice Friday treat. Oh, I think I just, I think I just blew a circuit with the microwave going and the air fryer. Hold <laughs> on. Yeah, I definitely popped something. Um, Peter's gonna figure it out, and we're gonna start to eat. We got the soup. We put some Valentina hot sauce in it. And then here are our potatoes with our little mayo dip, some ketchup, and Tabasco barbecue. It's Friday, and it's really Friday this time, not fake Friday. Ha <laughs> ha! And I took a half day. I'm now done working for the weekend. Having the most delicious lunch. <laughs> Finishing the last episode of Loki because Sarah hasn't finished this. And I know it's not like a part of Doctor Strange. Return to the TVA and it's benevolent. Just like my understanding of the multiverse, I feel like will be. What's Orin doing? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I think I don't know if it's connected to Doctor Strange other than it's. In pertaining to the multiverse, which this yeah. is the first time they really talk about it. Right, which I do, I like, I'm somebody who, like, I like to know all the little parts and pieces. So even if there's, like, a reference or yeah. one of the other characters or something is connected, like, there typically is in Avengers movies. Or is it technically a Marvel's movie? Marvel. MCU. MCU. Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh, we're going to try... So Sarah's going to the 5 o'clock show, and I'm going yes. to the 8 o'clock show if we haven't said today. Yes. So I am making my way to the Landmark Theater on Clark Street. I thought the boys would be joining me, like we all planned on going out together, and then them hanging out and doing something. Well, I saw the movie, and then I take James Lee when Peter goes in, but James was still napping, so I'm walking by myself. It is cold and rainy today. Our Cubs tickets we had today, actually, we had like afternoon game. That's why Peter took a half day. Um, got postponed until tomorrow. So we had less to do in the afternoon, which actually worked out so I could edit and whatnot. We could take it easy before our movie. But I'm gonna get my walk in. My, one of the things that's on my list is a one to two mile walk every day. So it'll be perfect and I'll be at the theater soon. So if you remember, we've stayed here before, Hotel Versi. So that's Broadway, that's Diversity, and then Clark runs this way. They all kind of diverge and here is where Landmark Theater is. And here we are, Landmark Century Center cinema. Now I'm going to be seeing this five o'clock show, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I've never been in here before. It's really cool and industrial. It's on the fourth floor. We got a popcorn and a pop. I'm going in. It is five. James is still sleeping, but he's showing signs that he's getting more restless. So maybe he'll be awake soon. Don't have a plan for dinner yet, but Sarah just texted me and said, 
it's go time, so she's watching Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness now. And then a little bit before 8, James and I will go pick her up. And I will stay to watch the movie then. So I'm watching the first Doctor Strange now. He stirs from his three hour slumber. Hey, mister, one, you need a clean diaper, and two, we have to go to Target to get some stuff and figure out the. Did you put the beads in buses? It's like Party Time Buzz. Forget Party Source Rex. Party Time Buzz. Alright, we're in the car. We have to go to Target again to do an order pickup. Pick up an order that we that Sarah placed earlier. And then I think we're gonna grab a quick dinner. We're gonna look for new mirrors, because we need a, a, a mirror back there and a mirror here for the two kiddos when we're driving around, right? James, you ready to go to the store again? What do you think? I'll come get you. James, I forgot this was like a micro boutique target. A little bit, only a little bit bigger than the one on Clark that we usually go to. So, I don't know if we're gonna get the mirrors we need, but at least we have a pickup order and we can get some food. Oh, yeah. Jimsy did realize it's 710. We don't have enough time to go home and cook and pick up mom and for me to go to the movie. So it looks like we're gonna go get food. But we got our online order. Perfect, fucking right on Clark. Right across from the theater and there's a Wawa next door that I think we're gonna grab dinner. All right, that was really good. I really, really liked it. I need to think about it, like rank it. Wow, that was good. We got Wawa. So. Just drop the camera off of this. Luckily, it was a new lens. It was a new old lens, but still not good. But we got Wawa, we got a bunch of dumplings and some bows, all vegan. Yeah. We stuck to it. We did. And it's very tempting here. <gasps> Are you going to eat? Vegetable pot stickers and we got vegetable and coconut bottles. All right, here comes my turn. It's a pretty cool building. Going to the fourth floor, I think Sarah said. Seven screen, gonna get some pop, some popcorn. And I'll be ready to go. You can see the theater from the outside here. Peter might have showed it, who knows. It does have this beautiful, oh, it caught it lighting up. <laughs> Beautiful sign. We're headed to the car. It's very chilly. <laughs> what do you got? A fork? Here we go. I haven't been in the movie theater in so long. So it's cool. We are home. We have a little bit of wow wow left. We're going to do a bath night tonight. Finished Frozen 2. I put that on in the car for him. Peter is safe in the theater. He said that it's packed in his theater, which there's barely anybody in mine. I, I feel like maybe just the timing. Um, his show is at eight, mine was at five. Um, so that's kind of a cool, I did miss out on that. Like there were a couple of people who were vocal in their excitement in certain parts, but that is something that I absolutely love when we got to experience premieres at Disney Springs was that a lot of people would go and the energy was just like something else. So I'm happy that Peter will get to experience that. I did already see people lining up when I was leaving, um, so that makes sense. So like, it is cool in a big city to see a premiere too. And that theater is nice, but it's not like the main theater downtown. But I do think that this, like where we live is a, you know, like has a nightlife, is more about like the foods and the bars and like that sort of stuff. And so there aren't, there aren't a lot of theaters, so I feel like that's kind of everyone's option. Um, but yeah, that'll be that'll be fun for him. Just nothing like living in a city. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Well, I thought that was very good, and some good character arcs in there, and sets up some interesting opportunities for future Marvel movies, like they usually do. Really good. More emotional than I expected. I liked how it wasn't like the same structure as other Marvels because of the director being more jump scary, thrilly. Really good. I'm going to say the whole That's right there. The um, theater is right there. So I'm going to walk home. Um, I think it's like a mile, mile and a half or something. I don't know. Sarah's going to call me. She's putting James down now when she's done. 
Maybe. Sarah's watching something that used to be photos that all it is now is videos. <laughs> I know. I cannot take Instagram just being videos these days. We're just hanging out, even though we should go to bed, because Sarah's got to, like, she got to lay in a weird position for 30 minutes because her child in her belly is not cooperating. He's sunny side up. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I keep on saying that. It's just, it'll be okay, right? Yeah. I just, if I have heard that it can, it can make labor and delivery yeah. difficult. Yeah. yeah, I saw that too. And then because we can say, if, guess if what? It, just cut them out. <laughs> If the forehead goes first, it's not as, like, malleable. Mm -hmm. we'll and see. also, like, head, necks go like this, not like this. Yeah. So, we just have to, I'm going to do these stretches. And he can flip in seconds. WandaVision, I mean. <laughs> Doctor Strange multiverse of madness. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs sideways. Thumbs up. I give it. One thumbs up, one thumbs sideways. Really? Yeah. Um, we talked about it, but just about the parts, not about like our actual opinions. Opinions. It was kind of spooky. It was spooky. Can we sign off? Good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled. Walt Disney Productions.